Hello everybody and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, we beat the Incant Flesh and we went out on another adventure after and both were very successful, went well. Trell got a little close, but luckily he has pulled through and uh, he, is, he is okay. Uh, but yes, we are going to get into another episode. We have no one to introduce this time around, but we do have a lot of diary entries to get into. So let's get right into this episode. Here we are back in the Cursed Estate and I think we will start off today with a few diary entries. We have a few that we actually received that were written last week, but we had a lot last week as well, so I've, uh, I'm going to be reading that this week. The first one here is from Renault. Um, this is by T -E -A -R -T, and this is after hearing the new Vestal Annie had arrived and is going to the Warrens. Another Vestal arrived today and immediately went on an expedition. She said she knew Diane, that she was that her inspiration, and I'm afraid for her life. Diane lost hers in that sewer, and I don't want it to happen again. One of these days I'll have to pull myself back together and join an exposition. Sitting around like this is making me weak, and I feel a dark presence in town. Perhaps a result of the occult practices occurring here. My faith remains untouched. So that's just a nice nod to the fact that Renault's not, not actually been out in a while, and I think maybe we'll try and change that today. We'll have a little look. We've definitely got some plans for what I want to do today, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it all comes together. We've also got um, another one here, and this is from Sunasis, um, our librarian uh, diary entry by Sofrol. The craftsmanships on their idols look professional. I saw teeth marks, and I find it hard to believe they carved these with their jagged teeth. She was talking about the um, idols and such that they made in the curve there when she was down there. And um, we do have a lot more. In fact, I'm going to read out a third one because we have a hell of a lot today. We have another one from Trell here, our Revenant, who went out and beat the Incant Flesh last episode. And this is by Cell or in the Stable Strafe. Ha, that feated creature thought it had bested me. Unfortunately for it, I'm made of stronger steel. And that's just him pretty much laughing in the face of death <laughs> which is great absolutely great uh so one of the things we're going to be looking to do today is we're going to be wanting to go to the um wield which is actually going to be a short veteran mission so <laughs> maybe maybe not going there first is a good idea because we might uh we might get taken out especially by the collector if he's here so maybe we'll go somewhere else first uh, that, that was a little bit a little bit of a shock to see that. Falconeer, um, extra damage and crit while stealthed. That's definitely interesting. We could go and take that. We don't have a werewolf yet, sadly. Um, the puzzle box on librarian only. That's pretty good too. Extra scouting chance, less monster surprise, and um, so less chance, t minus ten percent chance to monster surprised, and plus ten percent chance party surprised. Is that a bad thing? Wait a minute. I'm, I'm trying to work that out. Minus 10% chance monster surprise. So that's that's definitely worse. Plus 10% chance party surprise. So, so basically you're getting 15% scouting chance, but your monster surprise chances are not good. So maybe that's not great. Uh, Seraph here, extra stun chance. Less virtue and bleed resist though. Um, I think we'll pop over into the ruins here. Uh, on just a, a long adventure to open up the day. Um, with our falconeer. Um, well, well, for our Falcon and Sword. I, I do want to go to the Wield later on in this episode, so we'll see if that's possible. But right now, this definitely is not possible. Uh, but we'll be trying to go there when possible, when we can. Um, and on that note, we do have a diary entry here from Sixth. This is another one by Cell. While it may be a tad grotesque, the rituals I've been looking into mention the head of the first person to receive the beast's blessing, and hitting it granting heightened predatory instincts. It seems the hag wasn't able to find it. However, we have. With it, the tides of battle will surely flow in our favour. And that's a direct reference to the recent head that we got that's going to be very good on Sixth. Very, very good on Sixth. So... We want to head to the ruins here. I definitely want to bring Renault out. He's It's been a long time since he's been out. Um, and we're going to try and do a, a sort of dance party a little bit. Um, some, some more movable characters. Maybe we'll take um, Anugis out with us. And Anguis. Anguis, should I say. Uh, Anguis could be a pretty good one to pair here. I think that might be quite good. Or we could take um, Kaminari. Kaminari's v uh, good and movable as well, so... We could go with these two. Um, I think he can only use that from... That's only from the back two. So... Let's have a little look here. So he's got... I think he does have a back one. Yeah, so that's going to be a back one. Um, 
Okay, interesting. So we're going to be using these two here to move these two between between their spots. Make, let's make sure I can use that from that position. He can't, but he can use that there. Okay, so this is fine. This is fine. We can we can play around with these two like that. Uh, who's going to be our front line? That is the question. And who's going to be our healer? The even more important question. Um, we need a good healer here. Uh, who's not been out in a while for healing? It's difficult because we don't want to over-level some of our healers because it gets to the point where we, we, we really start to struggle. Maybe Annie will go out with... Um, yeah. Okay, we're going to take Annie out with um, Renault and then two can get to know each other a bit better. Uh, of course, Annie here having crazy good healing. So she's, she's going to be very, very effective. And in the front line... I'm trying to think who's going to be best. I mean, we could just go with Ronaldius. He's not been out in a little while either. Uh, Ronaldius would, would do a great job up front here. Um, also, Chasey Highstake would do a great job too. Uh, she'd be able to do a few different things. Although, Silent Curse wouldn't work from position one, and that heavily neuters her abilities. So, maybe, maybe that wouldn't be the best idea. Willow probably won't want to go out. Yeah, won't want to go out with... Um, Annie here. This is a difficult one. We could go with Angela. Angela hasn't been out in a little while and she's... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take Angela. And then we've got some really heavy DPS here. Um, and I do believe... I'm not 100% sure. I think you definitely have skills that do extra damage against Unholy. I'm not sure about you. Um, ooh, she is going to get extra stress and... Um, and minus accuracy versus Unholy, though. So maybe Angela isn't the best person to take here. Um, so let's have a little look at that, then. Who would be better? Ronaldia, so you, how are you feeling about this? Do you want to go out there? Yeah, I, th I think Ronaldia does want to go out. So we're going we're gonna, to uh, put that on as well. Um, we don't need that. So let's go with... Let's go with these ones here. He's got the buff going. He's got his uh, lightning impale. His princess's guard. I think, I think they're all going to be really good. A nice defensive group. And then Vestal with the healing. And we also do have the uh, the battle heal as well. Just in case we need it. And inspiring cry. Which is also really nice. I think both of those will help out a good amount. And we'll, uh, we'll sort of have a little dance around with those. So let's get these guys trinketed up. This one's a very obvious one. We just... Straight up put the extra healing skill there because that's going to lead to some really high heals, which is exactly what we want. Um, he already has this 10% maximum HP. That does not mean that we're keeping that on, though. Um, his health is is absolutely ludicrous, his maximum HP. So if we could get, like, extra maximum HP for anything, that might be the way to go. So let's, uh, let's look into a few trinkets that do that, shall we? Um, maximum HP and prot here. That's going to be some more max HP there. And do we have anything else that buffs maximum HP? Do we have um, Eldritch? Do we have a human? We could take this. I think. Let me let me go and check. I think the ruins contain mainly, uh, mainly human. Ruins, darkest dungeon. I'm pretty sure it contains mainly humans. Because they're human and unholy. I'm not sure if skeletons count as humans, though. I mean, technically they are, but I don't know if that's how it is calculated in the game. Um, unholy, 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 unholy. Okay, none of them are human. Fair enough. Absolutely nothing counts as uh, human down here, so that definitely wouldn't work. So we need we need one of these that works on unholy. That would be the, the ideal scenario for us. So for now, instead, let's go for something different. I think we'll go for some heavy damage. Um... The minus speed is a little harsh there. Um. Ooh, yeah, let's go with this. So that's going to be a really low amount of speed, but he has very high HP and some pro, and he gets a little bit of damage out of that as well. Kamenuri, uh, he's going to be getting additional healing, which I don't know how beneficial that's going to be. So Inner Fire is going to get plus two additional HP healed. Um... Which is his repost, which is quite nice. And Mantra is going to... It's not going to actually uh, help his Mantra at all. I don't know if we want to end up keeping that on, you know. We might we might take that off for, um, for something that's a little more his style. 
Yeah, I think we're going to take that off for now. We're going to go with slightly less speed, but we're going to buff his damage and such. And then we're probably going to go with the ring. Where's our focus ring? Who's Who's got our focus ring? This is going to take a little while to find, but we've got to find who's got our focus ring. Someone's got it. You've got it. What are you doing, Butcher? Nevada, what are you doing? That's not yours. Uh, so we'll probably put the focus ring on, on our man here. I don't particularly care if he doesn't have high dodge. In fact... In fact... We may want to switch this around considering the low HP of our monk here. Uh, and instead... Go like this. So take, take that off. Switch, switch this out with you. And that. And instead, because you've already got very high HP here, we're going to keep you with the damage and swip, swap you over with... Um, you can have... Do we want to go double pro? I think we'll go with that there. Oh, you actually, you're actually getting 10% pro as of base, which is quite nice. I don't know where, where you're getting the prop from, but I like that. Um, and we'll probably try and buff up your prot a little more, in fact. Protection's always nice. Uh, minus two speed. Do we go with the minus two speed, or do we go with the minus buff and move? I think we go with the minus buff and move for that nice prot there, and that should keep you alive nicely. Then we've got extra damage versus um, size two, and extra damage in position one. We'll definitely be keeping that on. And I think, actually, we go with this as well. We lower his speed, but get that extra damage. It does lower his crit to, to the point where we're not going to be getting many crits with him, but we don't need him to do that. So I think it's going to be fine to, to leave him like that. And let's head out in this long adventure. Let's check camping skills before we go. Uh, prevents nighttime ambush. That's what we need to know. Um, I'm just checking if there's anything else that's going to be really, really good for us. Like something that we really need. Um... Oh, that's really good. So we can we can offset that minus crit as well, which is really nice. Oh, that's pretty good. That's really good. Okay, we can stick with those. Yeah, I think I think we're okay with the ones that we've got right now. Uh, let's just hope that we have enough money to take uh, all of all the stuff we need out with us here. So we're gonna want to take a lot of food, probably. 32 five of them um we'll take do our torches next we need i'm probably just gonna take like 30 uh, 30 of these as well oh wait i just realized carry everything we can everything's free right now because there's no stack limit on with the mods we've got and because provisions are free today we are taking all the stacks of everything because why not? <laughs> we might as well. Like, there's, there's literally no downside to doing this. Um, and let's go into another um, another uh, diary entry while we're waiting here. This is one from Harathan. This is written by Cell. That trail is perhaps one of the finest warriors I've ever seen. Staggering strength, an honest heart, and an iron will. In all my years of being alive, only one other person fought like he is. He did. Does my mentor's blood flow within Trell's veins? That's an another lovely little interaction here. I'm loving these interactions. They're absolutely great. Okay, so explore 90% of rooms. So we're not going to do these two. We'll go this way. Let's hope that we get a critical scout. Nice dodge. Uh, let's hope that we get a critical scout here. And um, that allows us to... Um, get a secret room that would be super good long adventures have a guaranteed secret room on them it's just uh, depend depending on if you find them or not it was already a pretty good scout not a critical one though i'm don't, i don't know exactly how critical scouts work but um hopefully we get one soon nice to sam Rinaldius. you beast Rinaldius is is he's, he's so good he's such a good class and he's gonna be really helpful for us here so we'll go up this way first we don't touch books Everybody knows we don't touch books. Luckily, we've not taken any stress damage or normal damage through those traps yet. We've been getting through them just fine. More scouting. That's great. That was a very good scout. Okay, that was awesome. Right, we'll take on this battle. So, 
with this, yeah, okay, I was going to say we'll probably get that. Um, stun. We'll go with the stun on you. Oh, unfortunate miss there from Annie. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Take a punch there. Uh, we're going to guard Annie here. We should probably should have given him the prot, you know? Um, ooh, unfortunately he is pessimistic. He is going to take on some stress every now and again. Uh, and we can go with smite on you for a kill. That's going to be some crazy high damage. Crazy high damage. Oh, that, that the repair skill is probably one of his best. It's so good. Doomsday, no. So much stress. It's okay. We can get rid of it. We can deal with the stress. We'll finish you off. Executed with, Executed with impunity. A nice kick there. We'll go for a full party heal and a crit on Rinaldius there. Wow. And then the lance there. Absolutely lovely. Ooh, I like that. See a stone. Extra scouting chance for minus speed. I'm tempted to put that on now. Like, is anyone wearing something that we can do without? Not really, sadly. Um, I would love to put that on now, just to get the the higher chances of us getting that secret room. That would be so nice. But so far, we've been doing pretty well for scouting, to be honest. So, I'm not particularly worried about that. I'm not particularly worried about that. I'm actually going to swap these two around, just because our monk has much higher speed at 7, whereas he has 0. He's always going to go last, which means he's always going to end up being in the front slot. Um, so it means it sets us up better for Holy Lands, and I think that's the way we want to play that. Um, exactly like this. I'll try and take this guy out first before he becomes a problem. Lovely. That's what we like to see. Uh, can we get a stun on one of these? Probably. Another miss. Annie, you are not doing great today, are you? You are not doing great. I know you're only an apprentice. You're still learning. You're still trying to make your way. And heal yourself up and get better at your skills. Ooh, the common cold. That's not actually too bad. The common cold doesn't really do too much to us. We might as well bandage up when we can. Finish you off. And... I'm gonna go and heal you up. Full heal. Mainly for the stress heal, though. Nice hit. Slight hit on us there. Kaminari's taking a bit of a hit as well. We'll finish you off. And then we'll probably stall a little bit and do some healing here. That does hurt him quite badly. Probably should get one. Ah, oh, of course. Our weakest member. Nice. Them heals are huge. There we go. That's the sort of stress heals we need. We're probably going to get reinforcements next wave. So let's uh, take this guy out. Lovely. I never thought of how unlimited, unlimited stacks plus free provisions would work, but it's great. <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, we are going to obviously find uh, inventory space a real, a real problem soon, so we've got to, we've got to be prepared for that. And this, this might end up being a run where we very rarely need to, um, need to, to camp. To be honest, there's a few cool benefits we can get from camping. We do have prevent nighttime ambush, but we just, we don't particularly need to all that much. Let's carry on through. Nice surprise, guys. Nice surprise. Kaminari is coming up with a punch straight off the bat. Can we get a kill here? We can get a kill on you. Oh, unfortunately, we, we had a low roll there. Um, yeah, we can get a kill. Again, a low roll. Oh, we could have got a kill on both of those. We'll go for the stun. Finally, Annie's hitting something. She's not well versed in combat, but she does try. She does try. And that's unfortunate, but we have Loudenham, and we have a lot of it. Relatively big hit on us there. Rinaldius, he can take it, though. So we'll just uh, use our Loudenham here. I think we'll go for the heal on you here, Rinaldius. Finish you off. Ooh, nice crit there, Kaminari. Nice crit. Well done. Rinaldius taking a hit there, but Rinaldius going to strike back. Beautiful strike. Beautiful strike. And that huge damage burn, as you're seeing, is just really coming into its own here. It's going crazy. Absolutely going crazy. 25% damage burn as a base is, is very, very nice. 
Ooh, I like this background. Right, let's head up this way. Another battle coming up here. Okay, we've got two stress dealers here. They're probably going to get to go first. But he didn't stress deal, so that's nice. Fortunately, Annie's going to take on a little bit more stress than she's used to here. But we are getting a kill on that goblet thrower very quickly here, which is very nice. We'll um, try and take some of the some of the heat off of Annie here. Rinaldius is... He's very knightly. He does like to protect others. And that's exactly what he's doing. Nice heal there. And probably get you lovely hit on that stress dealer there, Rinaldius. And a an kick to the face there. And we can probably even go for a stun on this guy. Annie is just not about it today. Just not about combat at all. She wants to heal, and that is all. She is not interested in anything else. Let's do some stress healing here. And finish you off. Lovely. Right, go back to our original arrangement, but then swap these two around. Just, like I said, makes more sense. With uh, Kaminari always going first. Uh, I think we want this on you, don't we? Oh, no, this is this is just uh, loot. It doesn't actually matter who we put it on. Okay, so we can... I'm going to drop the Loudenum. Take that. Um, and... I'm going to drop... Actually, I'm not going to drop anything. I was going to drop something, but I think it's better for us to keep all this stuff with us for as long as possible. And not for, like, small amounts of, um... Small amounts of gold. Okay, let's uh, open up with this. I, I like to kill these guys really fast because they can add that observed trigger to you. And that's just not great. The observed thing is not good. Um, let's see if we can get some actual combat hits in here. She did. Not for very much, but she did. Probably should have gone for the party heal there, actually. Um, he can take on the stress. Let's hit this thing. And that is beautiful. We don't even get the stress when we do that. Taking out those bats. Um, Renault just, just absolutely does it. Absolutely does bits on him. By the way, I do apologize if I've got Rinaldius and um, Renault. I, I, I do, uh, Renault, if I've got their names mixed up at any point. I realize now that I probably have, so <laughs> I do apologize if that's the case. Cool. Right, let's go for, um, I think we can just go for a hit here. We don't need to stall the fight. Rinaldius doing great work here. We definitely need the deeds. We absolutely have to take the deeds. So I will get rid of... This is so tricky. There's so many things I want to keep. I'm going to get rid of the anti-venom. I think that's the least useful here. Packs laden with loot. Are often low on supplies. They are. Rinaldius is our is our group trap disarmer. He has seen his fair share of combat. He knows his way around a dungeon, and it shows. It shows. I mean, the man slayed a dragon for God's sake. Right. Um. I I didn't have these two the right way around here, so let's push back. Sadly, that's going to put um Renault slightly out of position here, but that's fine. Take you out first. Go for a stun on you. Nice one, Annie. That is great. You're doing good work. Everyone, everyone's proud of you. Everyone's happy you're here. You're doing a good job. You may have taken an arrow, and you're a little, a little bit stressed in the rest of the, a little bit more stressed than the rest of the group. But don't worry about it. We'll lower his stats to increase everyone else's health a little bit. Uh, and we will guard you as well. Actually, there you go, Annie. Rinaldius has your back. He has your back, and we'll heal ourselves up for a huge critical 20 heal. My god. Ow. Renault taking a slight hit there. It's okay, though. We're going to lower our stress and heal up a tiny bit. Because why not? We're a bit out of position here, but that crit is definitely going to help. Nice one, Kaminari. Renaldius with a repost there. They really do not like Renault. Uh, Renault, sorry. And I think that's because they know. They know that he's part of the Holy Crusade. They, they see they see his armor. They see the way he acts. They see the way he speaks. They want him dead. And they want him dead more than anyone else. But they can also see that Annie's a threat to them too. Rinaldius, they don't they don't really know. They, they can't even see his face. They have no idea. They have no idea. There we go. Flying kick there is lovely. Okay, we've already got one of those, so I don't care about that. And it's, it's not a it's not a trinket that I'd use anyways, so it doesn't bother me. 
Let's get this open. Nice. That's exactly why we had the deeds. In fact, let's uh, let's put this there like that, and this there like that. There you go. Right. Keep going. Select the destination on the map. Oopsie. I didn't realize I hadn't. Okay, we're going to go all the way down there as well. Let's hope for the scouting. Let's really hope for it. We need more heads. We're all taking a little bit of stress here, but as I said, we're fine. We'll uh, protect Annie again. She needs it. Rinaldius offers his arms. His big, strong, armored body. Jumps in front, taking the damage. Get stunned. Come on. Nice one, Annie. Oh, you resisted. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Good effort though, Annie. Everyone realizes here, you're not as well versed. They don't hold it against you. People are people are managing to stay alright here. Uh Yeah, we'll do this. Uh I'm just gonna take out a corpse, actually. Didn't even take out the corpse, great. A huge crit there. Ronald, a huge crit there, and let's finish off this fight. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We are doing great work here. Absolutely great work. We do have herbs. Lovely. Get ourselves into that. So we're going to make a big profit here, just because all of this was free. A huge profit. Let's get a scout, guys. If we can get a scout going, it would be amazing. There's a first hunger check, surprisingly. First hunger check. There's a scout, but not a very big one, though. Not a very big one, sadly. Lots of book curios as well, which we don't like to see. For those of you wondering why I don't take those, they just have too high of a chance of causing negative effects that I don't want to deal with. Another scouting chance here. Again, a really small one, though. Uh, who needs the stress? You definitely need the stress reduction more than anyone. Lovely. Nice one, Annie. She knows... A confession booth when she sees one. She knows that worshipping and confessing our sins will absolve her. Another scout, but again, not useful. And here's another one. We'll leave that one for later, though. We might need it after this battle. We might well need it. Okay, take out this stress dealer if we can at the back. Can't quite reach it. It's okay, though. A little bit of stress there. Um, probably just go for a stun on you. Nice one, Annie. She's definitely getting better as we go through this dungeon. She's getting better. Oh, yeah. we. De I'm definitely glad we left that now. That's a, that's a bad miss right there. That is not what we want to see from Ronald here. Oh, I'm really glad. I'm really glad that we uh, set ourselves up. Set herself up to destroy. Um, to heal that stress. Very happy about that indeed. Nice one, Ronald. You're redeeming yourself slightly. Slightly axed there. Very nice. Make sure these two get swapped back around again. Okay, so now we can head back up this way. Ronald, you need to confess. Well done. He's feeling much better. So, I think because of all the scouting we got down this area, we at least know that the um, the secret room isn't down this way. I'm just going to check and see how many of our um, how many of our camping skills like heavily benefit us. Because, do you know what? Let's just camp here. We've not camped yet. We can prevent nighttime ambush, which is what we'll do. So we'll do this here. Um, don't really need to do that. That's really good. So we'll do this as well. So you got the extra damage. You got the crit. You got the crit. And you got the damage. Nice. And then we'll go with the crit on you as well. And... Less stress on Ronald here, and that'll do us. I gotta say, we might as well rest. Makes sense. But no reason not to. 
especially with Prevent Knights and Ambush in play. But it's always nice when you don't need to. It's always nice when you don't need to. Takes a little bit of annoyance away when you don't have to worry about having Prevent Knights and Ambush and all that sort of stuff. And the food implications as well. Nice bit of gold there. Indeed a handsome reward. Kamari, Kam Kaminari is taking the first bit of trap damage here. Unfortunately, Rinaldius did not quite have his eyes on the floor as we were walking through that area. And he did, unfortunately, see one of his teammates have come to one of those traps. If only treasure could Sorry, Jade. I'm still leaving you. You're not worth enough. Nice scout. Yes! Yes, we got it. We got the secret room. That contains loot. Oh. Ronald. He's a kleptomaniac. He likes to steal. And we're getting so many surprises here. It's it's really useful. Um, try and take you out first. Finish you off. Nice one, Annie. That's her first kill. And I bet she's happy about it. And that huge Ronald 43 crit there is beautiful. We are going to take some stress here, but it's minor. It's minor. We should be fine. They like to go for Annie. They really do. But... This bat hasn't got a chance. Hasn't got a chance. Ooh, we got a summoning page. Um, get rid of that. Take the summoning page. Uh, this Eldritch text mentioned the ruins as an essential place for the summoning of an otherworldly observer into our world. Perhaps the thing's imperfect fo uh, from form is already within our reality we do also have this as well but we don't have space for that i don't think right now so i'm gonna actually i'll take it for the bandages but yeah i don't know what that summoning page does maybe you guys can give me some insight but maybe that'll be a way for us to um fight a new boss or some of some sorts so we'll come back to this in a minute finish off this first Ooh, I've missed up a little bit here. It's unfortunate. It's no worries. Finish you off. Nice. 32 crit. That's huge. Absolutely huge. This group is really good for buffing each other up. Really good for buffing each other up. Very happy about that. Take a strike there. He is going to empower him slightly. I would like to take care of this enemy very quickly. And that does it. That just about does it. The stealth here is going to be a problem. Activate that repost. Try and get that stress heal going. Okay, yeah, he's got rid of his stress now. And that huge crit, he's just critting non-stop. Non-stop. We'll leave that for now. Um, You two need to... Actually, you're, you're in the best positions for you guys right now. Nice. And this should be the last room. Make sure not to finish the expedition there. It's continue adventuring. So we move up with you with an instant kill there. I love the instant kills. They're so good. Um, we go with a stun on you. Resist, sadly. It's okay, though. We get the kill in a singular strike. A very singular strike. Wow. He just crits an onslaught. Renault is... He is... He's been, he's been sitting in the back lines for a while. But trust me. He has not got weak like he thought he would. He is still as strong as the day he arrived. If not, maybe stronger. That background's so cool. If not, maybe stronger. Opportunity to relieve some stress there. Nice. And we get ourselves another head. Great. Uh, and we get ourselves two puzzles. So we'll get rid of the torches and that. Sadly... It's a head that we don't really need. Caron's head. Uh, extra resistances and prot and death blow resist. It's it's actually a really interesting idea to mix that with our flagellant. We'll have a look at that. The great ruins belong to us. Indeed, they do. But that's a nice haul for gold. Definitely. Wow. That is amazing. Plus two speed and plus five dodge. That's so good. That's so good.
That's going to be super useful. We do have a new class here, but it is unfortunately level zero. Um, let's have a look who we've got here. We have an Enigma. Finally, an Enigma is uh, is joining us, and that's going to be that's going to be it for today. I think. Uh, well, for this session. Um, what's what level is our flagellant? Is he level two? I think I think he is. Jonathan Baker, where are you? Yeah, Jonathan Baker's level two. Uh, he does have these two here, which are a problem. So let's see. He's got less stress is if above 50. If above 50 what? 50 light or 50 HP? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's check, actually. So, see, this, this is what I was thinking, look. Um... I think we t I think we stay with with our with our current Jonathan Baker. I think it'll be best for us. So first things first, we sort by level and take our trinkets off. Obviously, only the ones that need to be taken off. Give him that back. Give you that back. You can take that off. Nice. Okay. This group's looking good. Just pull these guys out a moment. But yeah, I've got kind of a an interesting idea here. Whoa, what is this? Okay, so we do have the ability here to go to the wield, which is what I was hoping for. And that's actually pretty good. Extra damage versus unholy. Damage against humans, but slightly more damage received. I like the idea of that. Uh, so we'll build up a group for that in a moment. But yes, if, if we go over here and take a look at Jonathan Baker for a moment... For a moment, for a moment. I'm saying that a lot right now. Uh, what we can do is we can give him that new head. Ooh, in fact. In fact. Wow. We have a combo and a half here. So so we have this here. Um, where he gets extra he gets extra death blow resist, but also dodge at death door. Or we could give him this, where we take this off him, which is surprising because it's like his only rare one. We put both of these on him, and now. He gets extra resists, extra prot, and extra death blow resist. But he also gets even more death blow resist. What, what, this puts him to 87 death blow resist. Uh, but he also gets another 40% damage when he's below 50% HP. Another 8% crit. On attack uh, hit, uh, on attack hit self, one block at death's door. No healing received if not at death's door. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like an interesting combo. A risky one, I'll say, but an interesting one. Um Yeah, this this is this sounds like a really cool one. Um a really cool one indeed. God damn. I'm liking I'm liking the look of this. I'm liking the look of this. But yes, yeah, so let's head out into our last adventure here. Um into the wield. This is a medium adventure. We'll be taking out um sixth, hundred percent. And he'll be he'll be dawning. I don't know if we're gonna take his Beastmaster thing out there. Is that his Beastmaster specific one? We're definitely gonna be giving him the head. Um, that's gonna be really good. I think he still has Mr. Spot on him. He does. It would be nice to remove that, considering this increases crit. Uh, but it's okay. He's gonna get crazy accuracy, good damage, and we probably want to go with a heavily buffed up damage again. Probably with this extra accuracy and crit here. Uh, out of that could be very, very, very valuable. I think we do have something that increases his damage while he's in the, the back line from position 4. Which could also be very, very useful on him. I don't know if we have that on this save file, actually. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely be adding 6th um, into that. I love the fact that he has back tracker and tracker. They're both great. Um, yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably stick with that. Unless we want to go with the, um, the boots here, which give him damage, crit. Minus dodge, but the minus speed isn't great. We probably don't want the minus speed. Uh, so we'll, we'll stick with them two for, for sixth here. Um, who are we going to take as a healer? Hmm. So, Will would be a, a good one to take because Will's just a good healer. Um, I don't know if that's the best idea for us though because he's only just been out. He's only just been out, but he is a very, very strong healer. Very, very strong healer. He can do both of his things from the back line, yeah. I think we do take Will out again. Will is, is an incredibly strong healer. Or do we take Mary? But Mary isn't as strong of a healer. Struggles a little bit. Yeah, we'll take them two. And then, as our damage dealers, we'll take... 
Ooh, um... Who should we take? We'll take Urku. Urku's not been out in quite a while. Uh, in fact... What's Urku's speed? Urku's speed is one. He can use... He can only use Trample from the back line, which is a shame, because it means we can't use Trample straight away. But we can, however, use his um, Animosity in order to gain his Repost here, which is really, really nice. So we'll go with that. Uh, and... Probably take Gore as well. Yeah, I think I think we'll just quickly go and switch out one of his skills. Oku, um, we'll buy Gore here. Get Gore going. Get that going. I'm going to see if I can buff up his armor as well if he needs it. I don't think he does, but if he does, we'll go for it. No, he doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but yes, we'll get we'll get Urku in position one here, setting up his um, animosity here and his his repost with his nice extra repost damage and bleed chance, which is pretty good in the wield from what I remember. So that's nice to have. Um, and who's going to be our second damaging hero here? Um, we don't want anyone that's really movable, to be honest. Morgana might be quite good, although she's she definitely prefers to be in this third position here. Although we could change that. We could go with this here, and this would make her better from both positions. Yeah, let's take out Morgana as well. Uh, and I think this is a pretty good group. What One thing we need to make sure of here is, first of all, definitely put that on. Um, we're going to have our, a sixth here moving everyone a lot. So we need to make sure everyone can still attack. So you can still attack from one position behind. You can still heal from one position behind. And you can still attack from one position behind. So that's actually going to work out quite nicely. Um... Oh, actually, do you know what? I'm actually going to go and do this as well. Go back over to Urku. We're going to get this skill as well. Um, and we're going to put that on instead of... Trample, because we're not going to be able to use Trample. And I think this is going to be a really good group. Really good group. Got some really interesting skills here. Just checking if we don't want any of the other skills here. 100% um, crit versus bleeding. 100% arm piercing. Ooh, damn. I'm going to take that instead, you know. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm really happy with that. That's going to be really, really good for us. Let's head out and onto an adventure. It's going to be a slightly longer episode, I think, just because we're going on a second adventure this late in. But I do want to go in onto this one and see how it goes. So let's go with our food here, which is going to be like 20, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, and... 20 of those as well, and I think that'll do us all. I think we're all trinketed up, aren't we? Oh no, we've got two people without trinkets, so... You need the extra healing, of course, wherever that may be. There you go. And Morgana? I don't actually know what's going to be best for Morgana, you know. Uh, the wield has a lot of human enemies, from what I remember. Let's, let's go and check that. Wield... I think we've used this tactic before, so I think it does have a lot of human enemies, yeah. Eldritch Beast, human, 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 human. Yeah, it has a good amount of human enemies here, so we'll give you the extra damage versus human, wherever that may be. Ooh, do you know what? Do you know what? Let's just check something a moment. So these are human Eldritch. A lot of these creatures are human Eldritch. So we'll give her the Eldritch Ring. And the human ring. She gets crazy low dodge, but that's a straight 50% damage up. Um, which I'm... And she's got mankind here as well. This is going to be insane. She is going to be an absolute powerhouse. And let's uh, let's embark on this. Okay, so we do have some more diary entries here. Um, we have one here for Will June, our heir. And this is by T.E.A. I've had a revelation. 
The problems plaguing my land and my people aren't going to fix themselves. I introduced myself to some of the local heroes and offered my aid in expeditions. We travelled to the Warrens where there were rumours of some horrid beasts lurking within. We fought some creatures that could be described as such but were nothing compared to what we found. It was a moving mass of pig flesh, rapidly changing form and attacking ferociously. It was, I was mostly unharmed, thank whatever gods are still here, but one of the warriors was gravely wounded and I managed to just just saved them all at the end. It, uh, sorry, at the end of it all, it was poisoned, hacked apart, and torn up by a dog. Even the most hideous and dangerous of beasts can't be killed through simple means. Beautiful. Uh, we also do have. Um, I think it's. I think it's one more here. Uh, yeah, this is one by uh, another one by TE actually for our antiquarian Octavia. Uh, after inspecting the artifact she found in the cove, this place is going to be much more of an opportunity than I initially thought. I decided to join an exposition with some of the locals, including one who had an interesting biology in the cove. Um, is what they're calling the place. I found nearly a dozen historical artifacts, supposedly with minor powers and uh, and ancient sea gods scrawled into the CERN. I had, a lot of, I had a local expert occultist visit me, and his name was Ryan, and he confirmed there was connection with said gods, and was even able to give me some names. As payment, I let him take a couple of the artifacts with him, and the rest I sold for a high amount of profit, save one. Should I net enough money here, I may be able to claim a bounty on my head, pay off the people trying to kill me, and find a decent place to, place to live, somewhere that isn't here. On we go into the wield. Okay, so complete 100% of rune battles. This could be really quick, it could be really slow. Um, we're just going to have to go through all the runes that we can. Hopefully find another secret room here as well. I'm excited to see how this goes. Scouting early on is great. We've got a first battle here. And yes, got some humans here. Going to be bleeding those nicely. So, we're going to start off with this. And I'm going to buff you just because you're going to deal so much damage. It's insane. Eagle there is going great. Nice whip on there. Oh, unfortunate miss there from Oku. He Oku, as as we've seen before, he has a little bit of trouble with hitting his hitting his punches. I think it's due to just his face being mashed up under that mask of his. But he he can do some really gnarly stuff when he actually gets them hits. So we definitely want to heal here. This blanket fire is really hurting us already. Finish you off. Morgana with that whip there. I'll heal you up. That's not as much healing as I was hoping for with this blanket fire going on. Nice dodge there. That helps out. We'll activate our opposed here. We do take a bit more stress after that. Throw some of those there and get that bleed as well. And we're just going to go for the party heal actually. Get everyone up a little bit. And there's those kills coming out for um, Mr. Sixth here. Amazing. Love to see it. So make sure to reorganize our party every time we finish a battle here. It's going to be very important for us. And it would be nice to lower some of that stress on Will here. Will has a bit more stress than I'd like going into this. More scouting. We're going to have a good amount of scouting because of Urku here. He has the extra scouting chance, which is... Super, super useful for us. Uh, and who's going to be disarming our traps today? Six, he knows the wield well. He's going to be taking those down and trying to save the team and tell them to watch their step. Mom, even more scouting. I love it. Okay. Good. Got to remember, we do, we do have the ability to camp when we want to as well. I didn't even check our camping skills, but we should be fine. Okay, nice. Take you out as quick as possible. Sadly, didn't quite get the hit there. We might be able to... Yeah, I'm going to try and take you out. Wow. Yes, we got him. We'll go for the party heal. That's a huge heal on sick there. Great to see. And that's that punch we were talking about. Urku hitting hard, holding nothing back. Really just doing the damage he needs to do. Um... And I think we can actually finish off the bird here. Oh, no, we can't We can't quite. I'm just going to keep going for the party heals. Get everyone up to full. Keep everyone happy. We'll go for that cut there. And jump back. Get that stealth. Slight hit on Morgana here, but she's she's okay. She's fine. Going to apply some bleed to this, uh, this deer here, this stag. 
No decay. Leaving a body, but nothing else. Ooh, unfortunate Urku getting a miss there, but this should finish it off. Very nice. He knows the weak points of every single creature in this damned woods. And he will use that to his advantage whenever he can. Whenever he can. I may have uh, made a mistake with our food here and brought out not quite enough. Uh, we'll, we should hopefully find some along the way. This area does tend to have a good amount of food in it. Unfortunately, she is going to be stealing a few of this bits and bobs for us. Right. This couldn't have been our last battle, to be fair. It probably won't be, but it could. Open this up. Bit more gold. It's always nice to see. And here's, here's where Morgana really does well. All these humans, she's going to be dealing so much damage. Um, let's see. So, I want I want to try and get a one-hit kill here if we can. Oh, not quite. We can get a one-hit kill here. Sadly, very, very nearly, but didn't quite get it. We'll finish you off with sixth. And that resist there is lovely. We like to see the resist. Um, and again, we'll go for the party heal. Make sure everyone's topped up. Oku taking some bleed there, but he does not, he does not care. He does not care in the slightest. He's going to set up his repost. He's ready. And these feral cuts. Finish that off. Nice. Get the stress dealer gone. Oh, you've made a mistake there, buddy. You've made a mistake there. That is not a good idea. Slapping Oku when he is... He is ready for you. Never a good idea. Good God, finish you off. Wow. It does stun himself, though. That's okay, though. With Repurse active still. And there you go. Sixth just... He just... He's the star of the show. He really is. He, he shows... He holds nothing back. He holds nothing back. Okay, we are taking on a little bit of stress here. Try and finish you off early. Sadly not. Um, we're going to buff up Morgana again here. I think that's going to be best for us. Finish you off with a huge crit for 20. Nice one. Love to see it. We'll set up that repost again. I don't really mind too much about the uh, about the stress. He's a little bit high on stress, but until we get like over 50%, I'm going to keep on using that because it's very powerful. That's a lot of damage on us right now. I don't like to see that. Luckily, the stealth that Six has, being able to slip away into the darkness like that, makes him very, very hard for the uh, enemies to, to catch up with and follow. Nice hit there. Double stun. We like to see that. And there you go. A nice kick to the chest. A little bit of marking going on here, but this should finish you off. The stagger's down. Bleed is going to kill this guy, so let's just go for the heals. And we'll go for party heal. Everyone needs a little bit, don't they? Nice bit of food there as well. That helps. We'll open this up. See what we get. Extra move skill chance for less speed. It's not the best in the world, but we'll take it. And we'll carry on. Hopefully getting a few more scouting attempts as we as we progress here. Uh, let's, let's buff up you again. I'm going to go with that, just to lower your dodge and speed as well. Unfortunate crit there, unfortunate crit, and this is where his stress gets really high, so we need to start backing away from taking all the stress. Unfortunately, Yoku's still missing. Still finds it tough. Next attack kill. Um, I think we do this, actually. Let Urku kill this guy. Nice crit heal there. Not on who we wanted it on, but that'll, that'll do us. And there you go. He should get a very nice... Nope. Nope. He got nothing. We'll leave those crests. That really annoys me that that skill doesn't work at the end of battle. It makes no sense. Found a map inside. That's good. That could be a secret room for us. Sadly not... Uh, 
reorganize our party. I'm a little worried here. Let's check our camping skills really quick. That's kind of interesting. We don't want to use that. Um, that's pretty good. That's good. Yeah, after after this here, we're definitely going to camp. If we need to. We might, this might be the end of the mission. We'll see. I love those hits she's getting here. Now, we can keep going for the party heals. Those huge crit heals are making so much difference to us right now. We'll finish you off. Sixth calling on the will of the eagle. He keeps getting targeted, though, but he does have high dodge. He can he can get by it. It's a huge hit there. We'll finish you off. And prowl back. Ready to line up for our next hit. I really love this attack. Lowering that dodge and speed is so useful. We're actually just going to hit you with the bleed. I always forget that marks as well. I need to take that into account when I build uh, I build people together. This should kill. Ooh, it's not going to quite, but the bleed will finish you off. Or Morgana for that for that matter. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of the holy water and take that. Nothing of value found in there. Sadly, so we probably have one more battle to go ahead with this time. Small amount of gold there. Try and take out that uh, guy in the back there. Finish him off. Nice one, Morgana. I'm going to just top everyone up. Everyone's like a little bit down. A tiny bit of health missing. Nice hit. Nice bleed. Finally, someone's striking at Will, but Will, he knows how to dodge. That's just sixth. I think Fer it'd be nice if Feral Cuts did more damage to bleeding targets. That that, that, that would make sense, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I'll finish you off. Nice one, Will. And unfortunately, can't really do anything here. We'll just do that. Take out that body. Just stun himself, but that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, no. We can't even finish you off. Uh, okay. We can't do anything here, sadly. Okay, that bleeds good. And that finishes you off. That was a bit of an awkward bit of combat there, but it's fine. Uh, again, we'll... No, I'll take I'll take the crest. I'll take the crest. Shouldn't be leaving crests, really. We need everything we can get our hands on. Because we don't have the bandages to go through here. We can't camp anymore for, for a stress relief, at least. I was going to camp, but I don't think we need to anymore. Uh, I'll do it after this battle, actually, for the stress heals. We'll see how far we get with this battle. Okay, take out one of those maggots. Nice one, sixth. Finish you off. Okay, she's going to spawn one of the parasites. That can be a problem, but I think we can kill it in one hit. Nah, no, not quite one. Wing Slam is going to stun us here. Nice dodge. Take that, your beast. Finish you off. Ow, okay. That parasite. If, if there's another parasite, it will hurt us. We're really careful for that. Set up to kill that bird. Bird v bird. Finish off that maggot. What? Oh, it's in the front line. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll do that, but it doesn't actually work. Just gives you the extra damage. You're dead pretty much, aren't you? You're pretty much a dead bird. He did spawn a parasite, though, so you have to be careful. But that should take you out. Nice one, Urku. Well done. Well done. And we did indeed have to clear out every room. Sadly. Sadly, we did not get... Um, we did not get ourselves a secret room. But that's how it is sometimes. I know I said I was gonna I was gonna um, rest, but I'm just pushing on. Finish you off. I'm pushing on to the task's end. Nice, this is great. This is great. Wow, that that was a really good bit of combat there. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Ooh, that's enough. Oh wait, I was looking at our medical herbs, not our food. I'm stupid. I have to have tons of food left. 
I have tons of food left. Ow. Try and take you out. We didn't get the kill, but we can here. Ah, oh, unfortunate miss there. It's all right, though. We're getting the hits when we need them. That should be a lot of bleed on you now. Uh, not a lot. It's a good amount. That hurts. That hurts a lot. We're going to have to do some serious healing next time. Stress is getting a little higher than we'd like it to as well. Finish you off. Take out that body. Get that out of the way. Open up some avenues for everyone. That doomsday is not good. I, don't not, I do not like that. Heal you up, Morgana. And we'll actually get rid of that bleed off of you as well. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Nice hit. We've already got some of those, so we don't particularly need them, but I will take them anyways. Let's just do this really quick. Open up this heirloom chest. And we'll, we'll camp to get rid of some stress. So, who's got the prevent nighttime ambush? I think it was you, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. Nice. Cool. That'll do us. And we exit the quest with very little stress on everyone. Doing really well here. Very happy with that. Very happy with that indeed. And we got some really good stuff here too. Prowler's really nice. With a low chance to enter um, combat stealthed is, is very useful. So let's just check. Ooh, minus 20% stress on the next battle is really nice as well. Uh, first of all, let's um, get rid of our trinkets. So you're fine. Get rid of them too. That's such a good combo, that is. Such a good combo. As, it, as the sixth one is as well. Uh, we'll check to see if anyone else is coming on board with us. We do have an ironclad. Uh, finally, we have an ironclad. Uh, we also have a sisters as well. Uh, so we'll take on both of those, I think. Ironclad and sisters. Interesting. We have a fury as well. We're not... Should we take on fury? I just realized. Yeah, we've got three here. Um... Ooh, this would be a lot to take on at once. Um, yeah, we'll take on Fury as well. We'll get our we'll get our roster filled out a little bit here. Uh, but yes, that's going to be a good way to end off this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, got a lot of stuff done here. I think we do have maybe one more diary entry before we leave this off. Um, let's have a look. See, I don't actually know if we do. Oh, yeah, we have one from Clint here. This was written by Sofferall. The pay I got from those grain sacks was quite substantial. It almost felt too easy. Should last me a few weeks in the bar and brothel. Plus, that artifact we found in the hidden tomb landed me some extra coin. Great little one there. And I think we have... Do we have one from the... Yeah, we have one from the Gravedigger as well. Um, buried another man today. He unwisely took a trip into the curve, and nobody knows why. Came back with one bite on his neck and scales instead of skin, speaking gibberish. The town guards killed him on sight. So many terrible fates here. I hope I don't lose my head like that nun, Diane. My god. My god. But yeah, some bit great diary entries here. Absolutely love it. Keep it up, guys. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.